1980X has been my video game experience of the year. Welcome back to Game Galaxy, and today I'm talking about 1980X, a game that literally gave me goosebumps and left me speechless. Now to give credit where credit's due, I originally heard about this from Johnny Millennium, the Happy Console Gamer, talking about it on his channel. And when he showed the brief clips and mentioned it briefly in one of his episodes, my eyes lit up and I was just like, whoa, this seems like a game for me. Now 1980X is an emotionally saturated coming of age story told through arcade games, each in their own style of games that we're familiar with. You've got the beat 'em up, the shoot 'em up, the racing game, the ninja game, and an RPG. And as I mentioned, they're in styles of games that we recognize, like Final Fight, R Type, Outrun, Shinobi, and a sort of a Fantasy Star or Might and Magic type of game. Now, the best aspect about this game is the music. It is so incredibly jaw dropping and stunning. And they even got the legendary Yuzo Koshiro on board to do some of the music. And I can't be certain for sure, but I'm pretty positive he did the music for the beat em up game. Uh, it would just make sense for him to do that. The general gameplay and the story is moved along through monologues from the main character, which is simply just called kid and the, the fantastic soundtrack and cutscenes will lead you to the next game. To progress the story, you have to beat the arcade game to be able to move on. So some of the later games become pretty challenging, particularly the ninja game. But it brought it back to that feeling of accomplishment that only older games can give, that mix of memorization and practice. The story focuses on an unnamed kid discovering an arcade for the first time in the 80s, and how mind-blowing that was. Now to be fully transparent with you, I didn't get to experience the glory golden days of the 80s arcade era. I was born in the late 80s, so my childhood primarily was through the 90s. However, I still did get to go to arcades and get to feel that a little bit because there was a small window of time where arcades were still the leading, bleeding edge of video game technology and home consoles were desperately trying to recreate that experience as best they could at home. So I got a little taste of it, and I've always felt an affinity with the 80s and media from the 80s, not only because it has the best stuff, but, uh, you know, the 90s is when VHS and home video really took on. So what were the kind of films and the first things to get put on those tapes? Well, it was movies and media from the 80s. So I, uh, even though I was born late 80s and childhood through the 90s, I kind of still rope and latch on to the 80s as being a part of my childhood as well. I felt at home and very familiar in this world, along with a heavy heart of nostalgic sadness this game can give you. That kind of magical time in between adolescence and adulthood, knowing that the responsibilities of adulthood are right around the corner, but your head is still in the clouds. 1980X was created by Hybit Studios in Stockholm, Sweden. But the team of people that contributed to this game were all across the planet. So it's literally a labor of love to video games and arcade games of old. So I highly recommend everybody go pick up this game. It's only about an hour and a half to two hours, so it's not going to take up a lot of your time, but the impact will be everlasting. I guarantee it. Uh, you can grab it on Windows, PS4, and eventually it's coming to Switch. I don't think it has yet, but they're working on bringing it to Nintendo Switch. But this game did more than just give me those great, amazing, nostalgic feelings. It got me, the soundtrack was so incredible that it got me back into creating music and messing around with music on my keyboard. And I really hadn't done that seriously in about seven years. And now I'm kind of playing again. And it's all thanks to this game and this music. And I just had such a almost like religious experience with this soundtrack late at night when I played this. So I'm going to leave you with this video with a trailer I kind of took some of the trailers that are out there for this game and recut my own to try to give you the best I can, the mood and experience of this. So it gets my highest recommendation and it was a very unique experience that I had with games for this entire year of 2019. I recommend it and I'll see you next time and I'll leave you with this trailer that I got. There I was, up in my room, just like every other night, counting taillights on the highway. Soon the cars below would reach the city, 
But me, I'd still be here, stuck in sleepy suburbia. Or so I thought. But sometimes extraordinary things will happen if you just let them.